Hello, welcome back to the second part of my tutorial, in which we create an audio reactive patch. In the previous part I have set up this rope node, so that if I bang here, this shape changes. If you didn't follow along, you can go to the VVVV website, and under the video tutorials you can download this patch. Ok, let's connect a beat detector to this bang, so this bang goes on a beat. VVV comes with a few built-in audio analyzing tools like RMS, uh, root main square, or an audio spectrum analyzer. But for now we're going to use the beat detector. We're going to make the beat detector value. So I just select it and I left click and there is my node. Ok, what I want to do now is I want to go to the help file of this node and then see if it works and then just copy it back here. So I select the node and I hit the F1 key to go to the help file. Ok, this is the help file, let me move it over here. How this patch works is we're going to use the audio input, send it to the RMS node, send that over to the beat detector, and then the beat detector will output me a bang if we have a beat. The source of the audio in needs to be set in the audio record selector. So let's put it on microphone because that's the audio source I'm using at the moment. And now I've selected the microphone and you see jumps here. And if I hover above this pin, bang out, you might see some bangs every time I'm saying something. So we know now that the beat detector is working. Let me turn this off. Ok, we're going to copy this patch back into here. So I'm going to click on an empty part of the patch. So I'm not going to click here, because that's not empty. I'm going to click here. And when I click, I hold down my left mouse button and I drag a square around all the nodes I want to copy. And I let go. Now all the nodes I want to copy are selected. So I hit Ctrl C on my keyboard to copy, go to my rope fun patch, so select it, so select it, you see it's blue, hover above an empty place, and I hit Ctrl V to copy, and there is my beat tracker help file patch. Now it's time to delete some stuff we don't need. I do not need the old beat detector, I do not need this stuff, I do not need all the help text, and I don't need these sliders. Here at the beat detector we got a beat bang out, and that will give me a bang every time there is a beat detected. And as you can remember, if I bang here, my shape changes. So I'm going to connect my beat bang out to the input of this bang node. And now, if I enable the audio in node, we should get some shape changing when I'm talking. Pretty cool, huh? And let me turn this off again. Ok, now it works, and if you want to see this full screen, you just select the renderer and hit ALT ENTER. So, now we have the patch we saw at the beginning of this tutorial, and I think the result is pretty nice. But to be honest, if you are following a tutorial, when you are ready with the tutorial, that is where the creative part is starting. And with that, I mean, use this patch, modify it and make it look even better. So, for example, let's make a figure 8 shape. I just copy this circular spread. Now I'm going to set the factor, or I mean the I output, I'm sorry. <laughs> and now I'm going to set the factor at 2. We're going to use the same width and height. We're going to use the same spread count. And here we got a figure of 8 shape. Or we can use the energy output pin of the beat detector. We're going to pump that to the face pin of this LFO, which is rotating the thickness. Or we change the width pin and make it very, very thick. Perhaps we change the spread count, so we got even more points to that can form the corner points. Change this value, I don't know what happens. Lower the alpha value, change the color. And let's see what we got now. Well, I think we got a pretty decent random shape now. I mean, it's the same patch, I just altered some values and it looks totally different. So this is what I mean with getting creative. Well, thanks for watching. I hope now you see how easy it is to create some audio reactive eye candy using VVV. Thanks again for watching. And in the next tutorial we're gonna talk a bit more about spreads and spread counts. I'm going to explain what is happening here, because you got 300 slices for the circle, but only 4 random slices for the random spread.
Well, see you next time.